but I'm passionate about AI and the Gen AI in general. And, and I think it's changing the paradigm in terms of where we are going with technology. So far, we've been telling the computer explicitly what we need to do. Gen AI is basically intelligent enough to understand and come up with so many powerful use cases. Uh, I'm seeing Gen AI being used a lot in marketing and sales initially. Right now, because you know, Gen AI is a generative AI technology, so you can generate uh, you know, blog posts, you can generate uh, videos, you can generate um, so, uh, you know, social media posts. Also, it's being used in sales for like chatbots, for lead generation. Um, it's used in sales for call insights. So a lot of things I'm seeing in the marketing and sales space. Uh, the second biggest area I'm seeing this being used is in terms of customer service, um, for example, in retail or manufacturing, where you want to uh, improve your customer service and customer experience. Uh, the you know the uh, Gen AI is being used a lot. Um, also in IT, believe it or not, you know uh, there is this GitHub Copilot. I've heard from people who say that um, the AI does coding better than me. Uh, because it incorporates the best practices, well as we tend to skip those things. So uh, it's used a lot in IT. And yesterday I heard a use case from someone. Uh, he was uh, saying that it is being used for detecting insights from uh, doctor uh, transcription. So basically in healthcare. So across the board, we are seeing a lot of uh, use cases uh, that's that's uh, popping up with an AI and it's just a start, right? And you asked about the impact, the tangible benefit. So I have an actual framework to to understand use cases uh, for 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 understanding impact versus what is the capabilities of AI. So you know, look at the levers that you have in terms of uh, what you can achieve with the organization. And generally, this there are four levers, which is one is increasing your revenue, uh, second is maybe decreasing the cost. Third is improving people experience, and this is very important. And as I just said, the customer experience is one of the areas Gen AI is being used. And fourth is compliance, and maybe there are more. But look at your levers and look at the uh, evolving uh, capabilities of AI. So, for example, AI, uh, Gen AI, or even AI can do a lot of automation. And I've been in automation for long, and you know, we started with RPA, and now we are moving to this Gen AI space. Uh, which is making it much more powerful. So automation is one area. So like if you, for example, if you look at uh, finance and automation, you how about automating the month end closures, right? Uh, another is content creation. I, I is an, another area that's come up with generative AI because it's it's basically a text generator and it can generate good text uh, intelligently, right? And so that can be used in marketing. How about using marketing? Uh, you know, using the content creation feature of uh, Gen AI to um, create your brochures, create your websites, um, and so on, right? Uh, summarization is another feature that has come up. And, and so summarization is a capability where you can summarize uh, the, the uh, you know, the uh, call insights, for example, or the uh, documents. So basically, there's so many uh, things which are capabilities that has come up, like software development, chatbots, extraction, translation, a lot of this is with the AI that's coming up and you'll see a lot more of these capabilities come up. So look at each of those capabilities and how you it can impact your levers of impact, like your revenue, cost decrease, cost impact, or people experience. Um, so yeah, I mean, a lot of plethora of use cases that is coming up and I'm truly excited uh, to see that.